So the really exciting thing about doing a PhD is that you are looking at something that nobody else has looked at before. You've got the opportunity to really discover something that might bring new research to the world. In my case, what's really exciting is on the shelves there's over a thousand types of cinchona bark and a couple of them were used to make anti-malarials because malaria is one of the biggest killers even today in the world and researchers have argued that it's killed more people in history than on any other cause. So re-looking at cinchona bark is a really important topic to look at. So I was in the collection here doing my master's dissertation on different subjects. And at that point, they then said, would you like to do a PhD and carry on? And I was like, yes, absolutely. And that's how we then started applying for funding through Techne and AHRC. It's a little bit more unusual to have a partnership with an organisation, but I think it's something that might be a growing future because it's really fantastic to get loads of experience and opportunities that you would with an organisation, not just a university. And it gives you the opportunity to have two supervisors. Mine work really excellently together and they give me different types of feedback and support, one from more of an academic background and one from more like what would happen in business and uh, research and museums and science collections. So I really appreciate having both of those. One of the amazing opportunities I've had from working with the partnership with the university with Kew Gardens is that they've got their own publishing house here. And partway through my PhD, they wanted to write a book about tonic water. And the flavoring from tonic water is based on the tree that I'm researching. And it was all very coincidental, but they asked me, would I write the book about the history of gin and tonic? And that's been an amazing opportunity to learn skills about writing a book and publishing and really without having this kind of PhD it would have been unlikely that I would have had this kind of opportunity, so that's been a really amazing thing to do. I've learnt loads of specific skills from here. One of them is applying for funding, which is a really great one, especially if you want to go on and do postdoc kind of research. Top tips are find peers, make a network of friends who can support you through the academic. The second one is just start writing. It will get better as time goes on. You can edit it, but you've got something to work from. Any other tips? I think the last one would be take advantage of the opportunity you've been given. It's such a privilege to have been given this funding.